you are listening to the Caffeinated Thoughts Podcast. Hi, this is Shane Vanderhart. Welcome back to another episode. This is actually a bonus episode. I was contacted today by uh, Brad Price, who's a Republican candidate in Iowa Senate District 1. Uh, we talked a couple weeks ago. Uh, we had an interview, I think it was episode 39, uh, where he talked about his candidacy. In the context of, of that conversation, uh, we, had, uh, we discussed the life issue and he made a statement that, that kind of surprised me, um, and I think some of our listeners and s- some of the voters apparently up up in Iowa Senate District 1. And today he wanted to clear the air uh, for that. Before we get into this, um, first a word from our sponsors. At American Principles Project, we believe that human dignity should be at the heart of public policy. We work in all 50 states and in Washington, D.C. to promote life, religious freedom, local control over education, authentic economic progress for working Americans, and a return to constitutional principles such as federalism. Want to help American Principles Project? Visit our website today, AmericanPrinciplesProject.org. That's AmericanPrinciplesProject.org. Sign up for email updates. Help us out. We want to work with you. That's AmericanPrinciplesProject.org. Hi, this is Brian Myers. When I needed a better life insurance plan, I found it with Travis Rizvold of Modern Woodman of America. When I first met Travis, he wasn't like some other life insurance agents that can be pushy and try to get you to buy something. Travis just made himself available to me. That was it. He told me to let him know if and when I needed anything, and he stayed in touch. When the day came and I did need to make some changes with my life insurance, Travis met with me and walked me through several options so I could make an informed decision. Ultimately, it was the best decision for my situation. So if you need a life insurance plan that makes sense for you, call my friend Travis Rizvold with Modern Woodman. His number is 515-883-0029. That's Travis Rizvold with Modern Woodman. He can help you find the life insurance you need. Call him at 515-883-0029. And we're back. I first want to play uh, today's conversation with Brad. Um, and then after that, I want to play the the clip of the original conversation we had on the life issue. It's only a minute, 17 seconds-ish. Uh, so you can get the full context, hear what we're discussing, then just some brief thoughts uh, to wrap this up. But first, here's the conversation I have with Brad today. Hi, Brad. It's uh, good to have another conversation with you. Uh, last time we talked, uh, we had a, a brief, I think it was about a minute and a half, maybe not even that conversation on the life issue. And uh, I, 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 there must have been some misunderstanding or some confusion on your part because <laughs> you said things uh, during our podcast interview that is uh, totally different than what you've been saying on the on the um, trail, apparently. So I want to give you a chance to clear the air and, and, and correct the record. And uh, let's talk about this because I want to make sure your position is is uh, clearly put out there. And, and I, I appreciate the, the conversation. I truly do. I've uh, made it um, aware in my um, public forums and uh, also in my uh, meet and greets you know, that I am uh, uh, pro uh, life and that I believe that, uh, you know, Planned Parenthood needs to be defunded. Um, I've, I've set that in place, but that's, you know, my, my beliefs. I'm a Christian. I uh, work for a campus crusade for Christ in the wintertime. I do missionary trips for them. I've been to Thailand seven times, helped the young and, um, I have been saved, and so in my case, uh, you know, I my beliefs are completely different than what was set in that podcast. Okay, and uh, I, I'm not sure what happened there. Um, maybe we had a bad phone co- connection. You didn't understand what I was saying. I, but I, I'm sorry that that uh, your uh, view wasn't clearly represented. Um, I made it clear to people who who. Uh, or watch who listen to our podcast or read my my uh, articles. I I'm not a voter in your district. I, I'm not even a registered Republican. I don't have a, a 
a person I'm supporting or backing. I'm not planning on making any endorsements, so I'm certainly not wanting to misrepresent anybody. Um, so I, I appreciate you taking the time to to talk about this. And we're going to put a bonus podcast up today just so people, we could push this out and they can hear directly from you uh, what you believe on the life issues. So just, just want to go back and just clarify. So if you were in the uh, Iowa Senate at the time the heartbeat bill was passed, you would have voted in favor of it? I would have. Either either version. Okay. All right. And and you already said you would vote to defund Planned Parenthood or the abortion, I, abortion providers. That's correct. Okay. Um, what other types of pro-life legislation would you support? Well, I, I don't know if the heartbeat bill went for, far enough um, in this whole situation. You know, I think it's a start. Mm -hmm. um, but we definitely have to um, uh, continue to uh, work on the issue of um, defunding Planned Parenthood and just get back to the sanctity of life, period. Okay. All right. Well, is there anything else you'd like to talk about before I uh, we, we jump off the phone? Because I, uh, I didn't necessarily have a list of questions prepared. I just wanted to give the, you an know, opportunity to kind of clear the air on this issue. So. And, My, and I Mike's, appreciate you. Yeah. yeah, just I appreciate you reaching out again, and and uh, I appreciate um, your listeners, and I appreciate your program, and and uh, I just wanted to clear the air. Okay, well, I appreciate you reaching out, and and that we could do this, and again, we'll get this put up. And thank you so much for your time, and best of luck on uh, luck to you on June fifth. Thank you very much. Have a great day. You too. All right. Bye bye. I appreciate him taking the time to contact me today. Uh, I, I told you I wanted to play the original clip for context, so here it is, and then just some concluding thoughts before we wrap this podcast up. Um, moving on, another thing that's been uh, that has been you know un under debate this particular legislative session is in the area of life, and that's a heartbeat abort uh, heartbeat abortion ban bill that's currently. Uh, uh, stuck in the Iowa House. What kind of pro-life legislation would you support? Um, uh, I'm I'm pro-abortion, so um, you know I okay. believe the you know it blames the conception. Um, uh, you know I, I I guess the only issue in my mind is when you know the mother is in the fact of in a birthing situation. And a doctor has to make a call from life. Um, it's a it's a fine line. I understand that, mm -hmm. but I still think that that doctor should have the right to make that decision. Okay, all right. Um, are are you were you are you against uh, uh, taxpayer defund or defunding Planned Parenthood and, and abortion providers of taxpayer funding? I am. Okay, all right. Um, Thank you for your honesty. Uh, I appreciate that. I listened to this uh, clip again after Cody Hofert, uh, the Republican Party of Iowa co-chair, uh, contacted me. He was going to be moderating uh, a forum with the Republican candidates in Iowa Senate District 1. He lives in the district. Uh, he wanted to know about this issue because he'd been hearing uh, about you know, Brad, that Brad had uh, said something contrary to what he'd, he'd been hearing Brad, Brad say on the campaign trail. So after listening uh, to this, I, I, uh, I could definitely tell Brad was rattled. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what went, was going on on his end, if he couldn't hear me, if we had a bad phone connection. Uh, but it, it definitely I could tell that he was nervous, and which, you know, if if – you're running for office for the first time, and you're not used to giving interviews. It's it's very easy to get nervous. Uh, so, um, you know, did he whiff it bad? Yeah, he did. Um, does that mean he's he's not pro life? Uh, based on my conversation with him today, you know, I think that he is. I think he just misspoke, misspoke very badly. Yes, uh, but he still misspoke. And and I want to make it very clear to our listeners, um, my job. Uh, doing this podcast is I, I want you to hear from guests. I I don't try to inject my opinion into the podcast. I have set questions I ask, especially when I'm talking with candidates, 
every candidate. I might phrase it a little bit differently with each one because I don't necessarily have a list. I'm, I'm not reading a script when I talk. Maybe I should if you hear me mumble and bumble around sometimes when I ask questions. Uh, but my intent is not to do do gotcha questions or trip candidates up or try to tank them to give another candidate advantage. I, I want, as I told Brad, and I want to be abundantly clear, I'm not a voter in Iowa Senate District 1. I'm not even registered Republican. So the first time in... in my adult life voting, uh, this will be the first time I don't vote in a primary. I do not have a candidate in this race. I'm not making any endorsements uh, this election cycle. I made that commitment early on after I, le I registered no party. Um, that doesn't mean down the road I won't, but I, I decided, you know, I, I don't have, I'm, I'm not going to, to endorse a particular candidate. Um, my role uh, in Iowa Senate District 1, it was to interview, and my goal was to interview each and every candidate uh, who was running in the primary, and I, you know, I accomplished that. I, I highlighted, you know, those interviews again in a, in a post yesterday, and also I, you know, talked about this conversation I had with Brad. I was already, once I did the interviews, I wanted to, you know, highlight them again. That was my original plan. Uh, so, you know, I'm not, I wasn't trying to tank Brad. I wasn't trying to misrepresent him. I apologize if I, I, apparently I did. And that, again, that was not my intent. Um, so you as a voter have to make up your mind about who you want to support in the primary and, and take a whole lot of data, you know, take uh, pieces of data in mind. You get to hear from the candidates, you go to forums they say different things. They interview with different people. And from what I can tell, uh, Brad has been consistent from what he said to me and from talking with Cody. Uh, he's been pretty consistent everywhere else on the life issue. Uh, and he misspoke during my podcast interview. So I, this is an anomaly, um, not, not what he's been saying on the campaign trail, because that's been pretty consistent from what I've heard. So... Uh, best of luck to each and every candidate. Again, you know, be sure to check out the full interview I did with uh, uh, with Brad, keeping this particular piece in mind as well, um, his, our conversation today in mind. Also, uh, check out the interview I did with Zach Whiting as well as Jesse Wolf. Hey, I thank you for taking time to listen to this bonus edition of the Caffeinated Thoughts uh, podcast. If you happen to be listening to this podcast somewhere other than on our website, please be sure to go to caffeinatedthoughts.com. Again, that's caffeinatedthoughts.com. Or you could just Google caffeinated thoughts and it'll show up at the top of your search screen. Also, sign up for our email updates. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. That way you don't miss a single article. Hey, until next time, my friends, this is Shane Vanderhurt. Have a very uh, happy Memorial Day weekend. Take care, everybody.